So I've been meaning to do this since I got my tractor in December and I just hadn't done it yet. Uh, but I'm gonna make a grill guard. <clears throat> uh, I took the guard off of my tractor, took the two bolts out, pulled the pins, took it out. And I'm gonna try to put some expanded metal in there, but I don't really wanna weld it in. Uh, so I've cut me a couple pieces of angle here. These are 10 and a quarter inches long. Uh, I'm planning on drilling and tapping the guard uh, and then bolt those in there with the expanded metal welded to it. I have a line marked right here in the middle. I'm going to cut that uh, with a cutoff wheel and then I'm going to heat it up a little bit here and bend it so it kind of holds the same shape as the guard. And I'm going to let it run long down here. I'm not sure if I'm going to add some support down here in it or not so that when it swivels, I want protection down below it and I have, I think I measured up about four, four and a half inches that I can extend down here. When it folds, it won't hit the uh, grill of the tractor. And this is the expanded metal that I'm gonna use. I was, I was cutting some for uh, my grapple when I made it and I went ahead and cut this to fit in here. So it will be about like that. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to shape it so it goes the same angle. You can see I got this uh, overhang down here at the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna let that flop out there, if I'm gonna add some kind of support in here. Uh, as I get to building it and get it fit up, I'll kind of work through that as I go. So I got my two angles cut. This right here is where I Cut them, heated them, bend them. Then I gouged it out with a hard nose wheel and a grinder. So when I weld that, it'd be 100% penetration. I decided to go uh, with a 3 8 bolt in it. So I'm getting ready to drill the through holes in the angle at these spots. It's about an inch and a half in from the end, 5 8 from the edge. So I got good clearance for the bolt head underneath. Uh, once I get these done, I will clamp them to the brush guard mark where to drill and tap for three eighths on the brush guard. You could always through drill the brush guard too, put a nut on the outside, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap it instead. Uh, once I get this done, get them welded uh, and set up over there, I'll do another video showing uh, how I'm framing it out to put the expanded metal in. Got my holes drilled. I just ran me a couple 7018 beads on there. I'm going to uh, grind those down flush. Uh, I've got my little Max Star for this. It's a handy little weld machine. Runs off 110 volt. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm going to take this piece here. Once I get them grind it and cooled down, it's going to go right in there like that across the top edge. So I'll weld that in. That'll give me support up here on the top. So if any brush hits in the middle, it won't just push in the expanded metal. It'll be a little bit rigid there. Probably gonna do the same thing down here at the bottom. I'm just not sure exactly uh, how I'm gonna frame it out, stiffen it up and everything. So we'll get the main structure in and then I'll work that detail out. All right, so I got my little frame drilled, welded up, put the little brace in the top side. I laid it out. <clears throat> marked right here and center punched now i'm getting ready to uh drill and tap it uh three eighths to bolt it in there and then i'll do the other side once i get that fit in there really good then i'll uh put the expanded metal on it and start tacking that in place and uh see how it goes from there so i have the frame in there i went ahead and put some primer on it and if you can notice on my expanded metal, this side was actually painted white a long time ago. Uh, this side here has black paint on it. I try to paint my expanded metal uh, and then I prime whatever I'm putting it on. So that when you tack weld it on, uh, if you don't, you won't have paint underneath and it will rust under there and it will bleed out and make it look bad. So this is the next step right here. Just to lay this up here and then tack weld that on as it come down through there. And then I'll 
decide what I'm going to do with this bottom side right here. Well, I've done my test fit here on the tractor, and my overhang's a little too much. Uh, you can see right there, I marked it where I'm going to cut it across there so it doesn't hit my grill when it comes down like that right there coming up it looks like it's going to have plenty of coverage across the bottom there even taking a couple of inches off so i think that's going to work out i uh, could just leave it long and let it rest under like that normally you'd be opening the hood if you put this down like this anyway so i don't think let's see here So it wouldn't really cause a problem leaving it alone and just making sure you open the hood before you uh, put it down. It would actually give me a little more protection across the bottom there. So I may debate that, I may cut it, not sure yet. Okay, so here's what I decided to do. I put another angle bracket on there and this is actually the mounting hole for mounting this piece to the frame that's out there on the tractor so by doing that that keeps this bottom a lot more stable so there's not about eight to ten inches here that's unsupported it's supported down here next to the end uh, my bolts should be long enough that uh, the self-locking nuts should still work if not i'll get new ones for it get longer ones so the only thing left to do now is uh clean it up and uh paint it the uh, coyote orange and put it back on so that'll be the next one and the end of this video probably is showing it completed i do like the way it turned out following the the arc it actually flows right across with it so i think it's gonna work out pretty good well, there's the finished product I got it put on. As you can see, it'll give pretty good protection to the front end. Anything that comes through the grapple here and misses, hits that, should protect my lights and all. Uh, the mounting bolts at the bottom did work out pretty good. The ones that actually mount it catch that bottom angle and still had enough thread engagement to uh, engage the nylon and the self-locking nuts. So it all works out pretty good. You do have to open the hood uh, right here so that when you drop it down, the front comes in. It would hit the grill if you did it. I don't see why I would be putting it down and not opening the hood. So I decided to leave it long and uh, just plan on opening the hood before I, I let it down. I did put any other supports in the bottom uh, so this bottom part could get bent a little bit easier. The top has a support in it, so it won't get caved in up here. Um, but this right here, center cross brace on the front end loader should protect that bottom some also. So I'm not real concerned about that, but I think overall I had around four hours, maybe five. That's not including uh, letting the paint dry and everything. So uh, I think it was well worth it.